Design, and today I'm here to show you a project made with Eileen Hall's Sizzix Chapter 3 Scoreboards Die. This is the mitten box, which is just the cutest thing in the world. And I'll put a link in the description box so you can see the box that I made with this. But today I wanted to show how you could use it on a card. This is a 6x6 six six twisted easel card, and as you can see, I've used the mittens and suspended them upside down on the card as my focal point. Now, a twisted easel card is designed to be home decor. So it has kind of an unusual fold, and I'll show you how to do this in the tutorial that follows. So let me show you the products I've used. Of course, Eileen's mitten box die, which I did not cut the box part, just the mittens and the rickrack and the hearts. Then I also used her gift card pocket die, which is, I think this came out last year. And I'll show you on the mittens die. You get the mitten, the rickrack, all these little hearts, and then here's the box. And I know that's hard to see on camera, but um, so you can use just the mitten part. You can use the mitten with the rickrack. You can, you know, you can mix and match. It's a really versatile die. These would make darling Christmas tree ornaments. Um, for the pocket and tag gift card tag die, you get the little mini envelope, which measures, I want to say, two and a half by two and a half or something like that. When it's made up, it's super cute. Okay, so three by three when it's made up. <clears throat> and then you get the little tag and the topper. So you can do this and you can make it dimensional or you can make it flat and then the third die i used from eileen this is an older one this is these are thinlets dies and i can't remember what this one is called hold on yeah banners and pennants that's what i thought and it's just a whole bunch of really cute little banners i used that one and the little sparkly stars but you can see you've got all these different ones and little stars. I use this a lot. This is a great um, embellishment die. So if you can still get it, you'll want to grab it. It's a really good one. And then the paper that I used is Authentique's new Christmas line. This is a magical Christmas. And I used the 6x6 six six pad, which I've used a bunch of, but I can still get a few more cards, I think, out of here. And I also used the cardstock sticker sheet and then I used um, ladybug spectrum card stock and crocodile smile which is also made by authentique and I love using these because it's fabulous card stock and it's color matched to go with your collection so everything coordinates beautifully I used some prima flowers from um, a country Christmas and then some ribbon and string that I had in my stash and little embellishments so we'll take a look at this. I cut the rickrack to decorate this part of my mitten. And then I created this little bow cluster with these little tiny ornaments. You can pick these up at Joann's and Michael's during the holidays. One of my flowers and some little berries that I picked up at the floral department at the craft store. And then I just added this little vintage clip that I painted white and then sanded off. Here's how I use these cute little banners just to add this little extra festive touch. And here's how I used that really fun tag die. I created a hidden pocket, decorated it here, and then you can stick your gift card on the back and it will slide right inside. Super cute. The twisted easel stands like this, so it's meant for display. And then you have to create a stopper. And I created, I put the rickrack down first, and then I added these clusters of flowers, a little glitter snowflake from the dollar store with stickers from the collection, more of this pretty ribbon and beads and berries. And then on the inside, I just added my little um, gift tag envelope. And in here, I've put a little tea bag. So just a cute little... Christmas greeting. This would be really sweet as table decor for a ladies luncheon if you're doing that or as a gift for a friend and it stands for display and it's super cute. So if you'd like to learn how to make this, look around. The tutorial is following and I'll show you how to make it. Okay, let's get started creating this twisted easel card 
and this is such a fun card to make. So the first thing you want to do, it looks really impressive, but it's super easy. You want to cut a 6 by 12 inch piece of cardstock. I used cream. It doesn't really matter because I've covered most of it up. And then you're going to score it at 6. And then you could do this a lot of different ways. But I'm basically a simple gal. So I just lay the card on my work surface and fold the bottom corner up to the top corner. And that makes my easel, twisted easel fold. So let me show you that again. Here's your card closed. You just fold this up like this. And then this is going to sit like this. And of course we have to make a stopper. So I've lined this. I'm using, again, the Authentique Magical Christmas. And I've lined this with the 6x6 papers, Spectrum Cardstock, and Ladybug, and Crocodile Smile. So 6x6, 5 and 3 quarters by 5 and 3 quarters, and 5 and a half by 5 and a half. To do these diagonal panels up here, again, you could make yourself crazy, or you can just take a piece of paper, which I did, and fold it in half, corner to corner. And then you can flip it back and forth. The only thing you want to do is put your paper in there and see which way your fold goes, and then fold your paper that way. Does that make sense? Super easy. I'm going to take this extra panel because this is a decorative piece. I want to line this back panel just to cover it up so that if this is sitting out on a side table or um, a Christmas buffet table or something, because this is this kind of card is really designed to be decor. It's not the most practical for like a standard Christmas card or birthday card, but it is really fun to make. So, okay, trimmed that up. All right, then you have to build the front of your card. Now, I like to do this, I like to do this separate. Uh, so I cut another six by six panel of my cream card stock. And then I just took a six by six, again, of the ladybug, crocodile smile, and then this Christmas plaid. And I stitched those together on my sewing machine. And these are going to adhere onto this six by six panel. There's a couple of reasons I like to do it this way. For one, if I mess up, I haven't messed up my entire card base and I can go in and fix whatever needs fixing. I mean, not that I ever mess up, but it could happen, you never know. Um, and then this will adhere eventually on this, but I'm not even gonna do that yet because I wanna go ahead and build my card layers. The next thing you wanna do is cut a little um, contrast panel and this is again these are all the six by six papers so I cut this one three by I think it's five five and a quarter three by five and a quarter and then I just matted it again on the crocodile smile and the ladybug now on the back of this I've taken waste mat board and I've created these little risers why did I do this because this creates a little channel for our gift card to go in. Um, and that's a really cool, that's a really cool thing. So I showed you all the dies in the other part of this video. And to do this, you just cut your patterned paper, cut your um, mat board, cut your patterned paper. The one tip that I will give you is when you are cutting, the liner papers, you want to put the side that you want to use face down on your die. Face down. So just remember, face down and you'll be fine. Um, and then on the back, I just use the contrasting print. And this is going to be our little pull-out tag. Super cute. Um, so that's going to go there. I want to go ahead and take a power punch. Well, I don't know. I'm trying to decide what I want to do here. This is the hard thing for me about doing tutorials because I'm very much so a by the seat of my pants crafter. I, I get ideas as I go along. So I have a vision usually, but I never have a plan. 
I wish I was one of those that had a plan all laid out in my head before I even pick up my scissors, but I don't. I just have an idea, and then I build it as I go. But you see how this is going to just fit right in there, and then the little stopper that I put on the left-hand side is going to keep that positioned where I want it in my cart. So that's super cute. The next thing we're going to do is our mittens. Set this aside. And again, you just cut these out of your mat board. And I have one with the thumb on the left and one with the thumb on the right. And I, again, cut my paper to cover. So when I do this, I put my platform down from my die cutting machine and I use the dream cut. So it's the basic platform, then the C plate. Then I put one piece of paper face down and the other piece of paper face up. And that way your thumbs end up being on the correct side. And then I just cut another little scrappy piece and tore it with um, a ruler to make the little cuff for my mittens. So first I put down the whole piece of the floral paper, then I put the torn piece of the contrasting plaid because I like contrast. So what we're gonna do here is overlap these and I just punched through with a power punch once I figured out how I wanted these to go and now I'm confused. Yes, like this. So bring in a bit of ribbon and this is just some that I had in my stash and we're gonna thread this through the holes Now you can see I put a double layer of waste mat board. I like to use this instead of foam because it's free and I'm cheap. So um, run this through, tie them together, then tie a little bow. So cute, I want a little more though, so I'm gonna open this up. I want a little bit bigger bow. That's better. And we're just gonna tie our loop. Here's a little tip. If you fold the middle of your ribbon, um, when you bring it over, you'll get a better, more poof to your bow. And then you just go ahead and adjust it. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm gonna leave these ribbon tails long. Here's another really good tip. Keep one pair of scissors that you only cut ribbon with and do not cut one other thing ever with it. Um, and you'll be, you'll always be able to get a nice neat cut on your ribbon. Then I have another bow that I tied out of this iridescent string just to give it that icy Christmassy look. And I'm going to glue that. Well, first what I'm gonna do to decorate our mittens. I've got another piece of this that I've just folded in half, and I've got these little miniature Christmas balls. So cute. And I'm gonna put the folded end through the top. And I think you can get these this time of year at pretty much any craft store, Michael's, Joann's, um, anybody that puts out Christmas decor. They're not like a, they're not from a specialty shop. I just picked these up at the craft store. So I'm just tying a little knot in this. I'm gonna trim this. Put my dot of glue on the knot of my bow. Lay that in there. And then I'm just gonna put my other bow right on top of it. Bring in a sweet little Christmas flower. I want to add foliage because I like foliage on my flowers. And this is going to go right at the top. Cute, cute, cute. All right. 
to put just a dot of my hot glue between these two layers to keep them where I want them to be. And then bring in my card panel. And you can see how this is going to go right here. And honestly, if that's not cute, I don't know what is. So put your adhesive here and on the back of your mitten. You want to make sure you don't put any over here. Just like that. Stinking cute. So I'm going to bring in my power punch. This is made by Cropodile and it's great for punching through mat board like this. And I just want to find the middle and punch. And I'm going to bring my ribbon in again. time I'm just going to fold it in half and run it through the top. Like that. Fold it in half and cut on the diagonal to make your little fishtails. Like that. So now we're going to decorate our little tag, and it's going to be oriented this way, so we want our images oriented this way. And I'm going to take this really cute Merry Christmas sticker from the Magical Christmas Collection. And usually there's little tiny words in here that I like to add. But see, look at these cute stickers. Now that you've got your card base built, we need to add our stopper. Every easel card needs a stopper, and it's just a dimensional element that will hold that easel positioned at the angle you want it to be when it is displayed. So I want mine pretty upright, and you can see this is a pretty sharp angle. What is that? Probably about 30 degrees. Um, what I'm going to do is take the Rick Rack chipboard piece that cuts from the mitten and put a little adhesive on that. And I'm going to position my easel where I want that and just put that chipboard piece down there for a second and hold it. And this will create our stopper so that the easel will stand up or you can fold it down to store it. Now that that is done, um, I wanted to add a little holiday sparkle. So in this corner, I'm going to put this um, glitter snowflake. And again, these you, you can get these every year at the Dollar Tree or Joann's or Michael's, any of those places. So. I'm going to glue this down so that the tip is in the corner, like that. Eileen has this really cute banner die. It's a thin lits die. So I just took some little scraps here and die cut them and then inked them up a little bit. This is a silver glitter paper that I had in my stash. And I'm going to do these like this. I want to show you. I'm going to put adhesive a little touch of it along the top and then I want to stagger them like that to make a little festive banner to go down in this corner so I'm just gonna put adhesive on the edges and lay this down like this Then I'm going to do the same thing with the stars and this stripy piece. Again, just putting in between the little pennants. Sorry, probably couldn't see what I was doing. And just kind of stagger it like this. 
So cute. I love this die. I've had it for a while. This is one of the early ones that I bought from Eileen. I don't know if it's available anymore, but if it is, you should get it because it's awesome. And I want this one to go up in this corner. So again, I'm just going to put adhesive on the ends. Trim off this little extra bit right here. I'm going to leave that star on though. Just like that. And I've got these wee bows. A little hot glue. And then I'll come back and put little buttons on those. And this one I'm only going to put the bow on the outside edge because it looks like it's coming out from behind the mittens. Also, I don't want to get in the way of my tag coming in and out. All right, so there's that. Now we're going to finish off this tag and on the back side you can just put a gift card here if you want to or you can just cover this with uh, plain cardstock and write a note. Really your call. Okay. So I just tied another quick little bow. Put this on a, the knot right here. Another one of these sweet little flowers. And then I'm just going to tuck these berries into that glue while it's hot. And then this will just slide in under our mittens. Look how cute! I love that. Now we're ready to put our card cover on the front. And here's how I do this. I just add the adhesive. Then I lay it down. This is the tricky part. <laughs> you have to remember how you want your card oriented or you end up with your card glued on upside down. So I just double check myself like I just did. And look, this is gonna sit just like this. Super duper cute. Look how cute that is. And then it closes, it looks wrong when it's closed, but it's right when it's open. Okay, so I just want to show you how I added the little uh, gift card envelope. It fit neatly right up in this corner. So that's kind of cool. That finishes the inside. And then we can take another one of our stickers and just put it here that says North Pole. Now let's open this up and finish the front of the card. And I'm hoping you're going to be able to see this okay. I took another sticker, backed it with just some scrap paper and a dimensional. And this is going to go right in the center of our snowflake. Just like this. And I've got this beautiful red Christmas flower. I'm going to put this down right here. Actually, I want the leaf going up. And I'm being careful that I'm not gluing onto the front of my card. But that's going to help as the stopper. Then I have this little poinsettia. And I think these are old Prima from their... Um, Christmas in the country. And then this little one. Then I tied a bow. And 
and I just like to take the point of my scissors and push that in under the flower and then you have a minute to come back a little minute <laughs> to come back and adjust your loops the way you want them to be and I'm real happy with that then I took some of the wire stuff off of the berries and I coiled it around a pencil we're just gonna stick that in there and then I just I cut the berries off the great big stem and twined the little stems around each other to tuck in there oops and I added this little painted clip up at the top And I have another one of these little coils that I'm just gonna add some glue to and stick in up here. A little berry. All right, so then I wanna take this little red one here like this and tuck this little one under it like that and then this pretty printed one on the top actually I want the printed one to go like this and I'm going to bring in my flowers my leaves rather some foliage And that's that. So I'll bring this up. This is what it looks like. Ignore the glue webs and we'll deal with those. So you've just got this pretty stopper built down here at the bottom because remember this is home decor and then it's going to look like that when it's on display. So fun. All right, that's it for me folks. I will have a linked supply list on my blog at kathybydesign.com. If you enjoyed this video tutorial, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you along for the journey. And now I'm going to go get my craft on. Bye.